Hello everyone, I hope you had an amazing Christmas. Did you just get an Oculus Quest headset and are looking for an Attack on Titan game to play? Well, no worries. In this video, I will show you how to get Attack on Quest, the most popular Attack on Titan tribute fan game that's available on the third party app known as SideQuest for free and within five minutes. Now, please understand that since this is a fan game, the developer can't upload the app to the official Oculus Store or App Labs, so instead you will have to sideload the game from SideQuest. The first things first, you will need a desktop or laptop computer with a USB-C type cable. If you have a link cable, of course that would work too. If you don't have a computer, there is a way to get the game with any Android mobile device too, but since I don't have an Android device, I'll leave a link to another tutorial on how to install the game that way. Keep in mind these devices are only used to install the game. They won't be running the game and once you have installed the game you can play Attack and Quest just like any other Quest game wirelessly without the use of the computer. So don't worry if you have a low end PC because that really doesn't matter. It's not running the game. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is to create a developer account. To do this, head over to developer.oculus.com slash manage slash organizations slash create and create an organization. Name it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Next thing you want to do is to install and enable ADB drivers to allow your PC to communicate and transfer files onto your Oculus Quest headset. Now, do exactly what I say, otherwise you might come across some issues. If you are running on a Windows PC, you will need to follow this step, but if you are on a Linux or Mac, you can skip this step completely and head over to the next step. But if you are on Windows, I have left a link on where you need to go to install the Oculus ADB drivers. Once you have downloaded the file, extract the files with either WinRAR or 7-Zip or whichever extraction tool you have. I recommend 7-Zip since it's completely free. Extract the files anywhere you want, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to extract the files onto my desktop. Open the extracted folder and go to USB underscore driver and right click Android dot win usb and select install if the install option doesn't pop up you've most likely extracted the file wrong just redo everything i've just said again and if that doesn't work feel free to leave a comment and i'll try my best to help you out after you and click install restart your pc and then follow on to step number three so now you need to actually activate developer mode the easiest way to activate it is on your mobile device. Make sure you have the Oculus app downloaded. It's completely free, by the way. And make sure your Oculus Quest 1 or Oculus Quest 2, whichever one you are using, is turned on and on the same Wi-Fi network as your mobile device. Click the menu option on the bottom right of your screen. Click on Devices click on developer mode and then toggle developer mode to be enabled. As you can see, I already have it enabled. Now that developer mode is activated, you need to connect your headset to your PC using a USB-C cable. As I said earlier, if you have a link cable, that will work too. But if you don't have one, you can get one pretty cheap on Amazon. If this is your first time connecting your headset to your PC, you will need to click allow in the pop-up that shows up in your Oculus Quest headset, asking to allow USB debugging in your headset. It's best to also click always allow from this computer to avoid doing this every time you want to install a game from SideQuest, so make sure you click that. And uh, for the final step, you will need to download and install SideQuest on your computer. Of course, I'll leave the download link in the description. Once downloaded, find and run the .exe file and select the installation location. Once again, for simplicity's sake, I'll just put this in the desktop. Once the installation is complete, open up SideQuest and you can see there are a multitude of apps you can sideload. But for this video, we are going to download Attack on Quest. Make sure you followed all previous steps correctly and that your headset is connected to your PC via USB-C type cable. Just go into the search bar and type Attack on Quest and go onto the Attack on Quest page and click download the app. So depending on your internet connection, it really shouldn't take too long to install. 
Once you see the green tick that the app is installed, feel free to disconnect your headset from your computer and head into your headset, go into your game library. From here, go to the drop down menu in the top right of your game library and go from all to unknown sources. And if you've done all the steps correctly, this is where Attack on Quest will show up as well as any other apps you get from SideQuest. And there you go. If you have any more issues and you're 100% accurate, you followed all the steps correctly, please leave a comment and I'll try my best to help out. Now, SideQuest has a lot of useful features other than installing apps that can't make it to the official store. For starters, you can wirelessly connect to your headset or directly install .apks to your headset manually or manage files on your headset create backups or enable 90 hertz or 120 hertz you can also run adb commands in fact i even use sidequest to adjust my recording properties for my youtube videos for those of you that wonder how i actually do it and that is pretty much everything you need to know to install attack on quest as i said if you have any issues please let me know in the comments or feel free to join the official attack on quest discord which i will obviously link in the description otherwise have fun and um have a good one also shout out to tj